I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Christie's off. The video out yesterday shows a sheriff's deputy shooting at a car of teenage burglary suspects. But you can't make out the gunfire. The video's silent. The Onondaga County District Attorney, though, helping fill in more information for us, saying Deputy John Rossello fired twice into the front windshield and a third time into a side window. At least two of the shots, killing 15-year-old Lueth Moe and 17-year-old Dalla Pet. Now, the teens fired at were in a car deputies say was stolen, as was the van the other suspects got away in. Two more examples of an extreme increase in vehicle thefts. News 10 Lines' Andrew Donovan asked the district attorney for his solution to this troubling trend. Many of these crimes are caught on camera, but more shocking than seeing it, counting it. So far this year, 615 reports of stolen vehicles in the city of Syracuse alone. More than all of 2022, not even into the fourth quarter of the year. In the last week, two teens killed after a deputy fired and the home explosion in Oneida both relate back to stolen vehicles. A significant number of them are stolen to then be handed over to gang members, older gang members who commit drive-by shootings and other nefarious acts throughout the county. The district attorney blames the cost-saving shortcut Kia and Hyundai took that leaves their cars vulnerable, but also New York State politics. I'm not Nostradamus, but when they passed Raise the Age, I said you were going to see an increase in quality of life crimes, and that's exactly what's happening. You might hear Raise the Age as a buzz phrase. What it means is the Onondaga County District Attorney and therefore county criminal courts don't have jurisdiction over 16 and 17 year olds. Those age suspects first go before a family court judge who influences where their cases go next. Family court is not designed to punish car thieves. It's designed to reunite families. And as good quality people we have on the bench, if they don't have the services to provide to these kids and these kids know it, you have the result that you have here, and it's only going to get worse until somebody in Albany wakes up and says, we got to change this. D.A. Fitzpatrick doesn't want to throw out Raise the Age and bail reform, but asks state lawmakers to fund the promised remediation programs. Would I like more funding for it? Yes. But I would like them under the supervision of a criminal court judge, not a family court judge where the... there's no, I, there's no uh, recognition of retribution. I'm looking at a... You know, if you're going to have a program, have it run by people that understand that some people need to be locked up. Until then, he fears locking up your car is the best you can do. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Now, the DA says a vast majority, more than 80% of stolen car crimes, are never solved.